Hello, faithful viewers. Welcome to Mr. Who Views. Today, I'm reviewing Simpsons Skinner Sense of Snow. And this is uh, the current episode for uh, season 12, episode 8. So, it's after the whole uh, Bart and Homer con the people drink a lot of their money episode. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, in this uh, first, the Simpsons go to this uh, French Canadian uh, circus. Yeah, that's already the interesting part. Um, the storm starts like uh, kicking up, and what am I saying? There's a chance there'll be snow, and Bart just wondered, I mean, they'll be left off school. Uh, we'll listen to the the radio turns out their school is the only school that isn't uh, closed because of the snowstorm. Um, Mars just tells the kids to, to, to like don't complain and see and the Homer don't have a day off. Then the Homer just runs in and kisses and saying that Lenny told him they have a day off. And he tried making a snow angel out with the back. But he's just uh, made a snow devil, and as he says that's always that always happens. Anyway, uh, the kids are just in this, are on school as well. But uh, Otto is playing uh, less snow, and uh, perhaps looking out the window, seeing the residents of Springfield having a great snow day. And uh, Steve Wiggum is uh, writing his name in the snow with. Uh, kind of a coffee, but it makes it look like he's doing something else. Like, there's just no way you write your name in the snow. Hmm. Uh, it turns out that Skinner is the only adult uh, left in his school other than uh, Witty, since the other teachers are in this uh, conference call thing, I don't know, called Caucus. Um, hmm. Um, see, he decides to show the kids that uh, this uh, crazy film, uh, the black and white one that is just bad. Like he tells the reindeer is uh, fake, and the Christmas hobgoblin just sounds bad, bad as well. And the the one of the goblins that's been singing for two hours, and you got to see a stage time going by when a uh, He's singing and it was terrible. Anyway, let's see. Let's get the wreck. That when Nelson tells that uh, Skinner he took off the DVD, turn out he was using the DVD, even though he's using the projector. And um, and the DVD just set on flames or combusts. And the kids were about to go home until they see that they're snowed in. And of course, they scream a little when they realize they're. Captain School and the Miss Christmas. But they scream very loud and scream out that he fixed the DVD. Somehow, like it burst into flames, so I don't know how he did it. Anyway, the singer's just trying to uh, um, do something with the kids, like make sure they don't do it in. Bad, but after Nelson tried to escape, and there, there's a, there's a shot, and we went out to him. And after he uh, sees his old uh, foot locker, he realizes he has to act like an army commander to get the kids to respect him. And he has to put Nelson on a coat hook. I don't know. Yeah, I got pretty enough a lot, I think. And Homer and Ned decide to go get the kids. Uh, out of school by uh, using Ned's car and uh, putting a bit of Ned's roof on the car. I find it kind of funny that when Ned asked about Homer's uh, old snowplow business, Homer sounds like the noise he's talking about, even though he's wearing the Mr. Plow jacket. <sighs> I don't know if Homer looks acts dumb sometimes, or yes, he is smart. <laughs> like uh, with uh, Tom Brockman's 
and talking about the whole ad storm thing and saying that Mr. Burns said bought all this no plows and marriage wondering how the kids work at home home was like, I don't know, damn that. I mean during the middle of the night when a scanner decides everybody is sleeping in like a sleeping bag or some barrack actually digs a tunnel to get out. But Skinner just says finds out and he tries to get waiting to destroy it even though it looks like uh Brad did a great job. Um uh, Wade has a good line when he uh is when he just said uh, defying Skinner's orders and it could be uh, uh taken in another context when he said that uh, that's enough Skinner. This is the last time yeah, you'll uh, push your witty around. I don't know. And there's another line later, but I got that. Anyway, yeah, when that scanner just tries to destroy the, the tunnel himself, he gets uh, caught in it. And the kids like to go to school and just go wild. And he put a scanner in a, a dodgeball bag. Uh, I better have Skinner uh, do some stuff like uh, write on the chalkboard and he even says uh, 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 like uh, uh, oh, sorry, that's why I'm here. Better just uh, saying that uh, his wrist sound like a cement mixer after all the times he did when Skinner cleaned up his wrist. And uh, I just try to get Skinner to on a rope with well, Skinner saying it's impossible. Hello. And that's the yeah, go in their permanent records. And didn't read that funny book. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I sell to send uh, nibbles to hamster to get help. But it falls into the snow. And the uh, Flanders and the uh, Homer just get caught in an ice prison from war and the uh, Fumes from the engine to say uh, make them uh, hallucinate and like Homer is imagine like he's like, like a sultan or something. And then see they get free when Nibbles just crashes into the mirror. Yeah, he's like into the snow. I don't know how he got to the car, but whatever. Anyway, they get free from the ice prison and the uh, Homer thinks Flanders car has cruise control, but it's just going out control and saying I'm glad that that works and he uh, crash into a assault silo. Um, somehow at least it knows the town of a silo tipping over. And this uh, assault actually melts the ice. Um, the uh, everything's out of school and when the Superintendent Sommer just uh, comes after uh, Skinner out Nibble to eat through the ball shaft. His ball sack. I don't know. Uh, Someone just said goes off somewhere when a uh, bar said there is a good explanation for the whole thing. Um, the Skinner saying that this is one of the times where you have to just forget what happened. The bar just tricked him, saying you don't need to listen. Um, Homer just tells kids that they have to leave this horrible place and the so I see a true the car and there's fumes coming out from the engine and the Homer scene leaves it as a camel and birds a woman and starts kiss him and those anyway camel leaves it with the everybody a happy Christmas from Simpsons they're going aww a few times. Um that's it. Then this is a pretty good uh, Christmas episode even though Christmas didn't really take part in it. But Whatever, just that good that seeing Purple Skinner trying to uh, push his a torta on the kids and then uh, them just rebelling against him. Uh, kind of like that bird says that Diddy Mao uh, a few times in this episode. Just seems good. Uh, seeing how uh, Homer and Flanders work together is uh, good as well. And just good, good continuity with uh, Mr. Plow. We know Homer pretends he doesn't know what uh, Flanders is talking about. Um, what else? Um, 
Yeah, the black and white movie that Prisoner Scanner was shown didn't show the whole thing, but I bet it was awful. It makes sense when his kids were screaming when he said that that he fixed the DVD. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, next week could be a better uh, Christmas Simpsons episode when uh, Skinner just loses the, the school and some the toy company just takes over and they get I give for a new toy by talking to the kids. And uh, guess that uh, Gary Coleman will be in it. And I have to say it's just awesome seeing him be, well, will be, be, will be awesome. Game and Simpsons, and yeah. Until next time, I'm Sue. Yes, there.